Hello guys, my name is Luca from Audio Tribe YouTube channel and in this video I will show you the differences between the original JBL Extreme 3 and the fake JBL Extreme. So let's see what is inside the box and make a sound comparison. Now let's see what we have inside the box. So as you can see on the box it says Xterm, not extreme. On the back, 50 hours of playing time, yeah sure. Splash proof, so the original is waterproof, not just splash proof. But let's see how is the speakers. Inside we have the belt, charging cable and aux to aux and here extreme is the correct is the correct uh, name i like this to the color but unfortunately i think this is very cheap like this belt so let's see well this is quite similar but wait a second so we have power button Bluetooth minus and plus volume. This is the mode because the fake JBL speaker has a radio card Bluetooth mode and AUX mode and the play button. So let's turn them on. Well, unfortunately, I think this doesn't have battery. Here is the inputs, the USB for charging, AUX to AUX. This is the USB for power bank, and this is the card. Nothing much, and let's see. On the sides, it doesn't have any logos, but the size is similar. I will try to power on and plug in to a cable. So let's try to power this speaker because uh, it is out of power. Oh, this is not a good sound. Did you hear it? Let's try to power on. I will unplug it and plug it again. This is not a good sign. So I think this is a broken fake JBL speaker as you can see it shows that it is charging but this sound is not good the quality it's 
and it cost me 30 dollars 30 dollars so 30 300 well in my opinion i wouldn't recommend to buy a fake jbl i would recommend to buy an original jbl if you don't have money for uh, on extreme 3 the charge 5 it's good enough for uh, for a picnic for in the house for i think i i'm for about everything you, you need to to do with it so what is your opinion would you buy a fake jbl speaker please tell me in the comments what do you think cheers